Hello, hello, hello. It's me again, as promised. We're going to look at today's devotion. When something in your life or thoughts make you anxious, come to me and talk about it. Bring me your prayer and petition with thanksgiving, saying, thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity to trust you more. Though the lessons of trust that I send you come wrapped in difficulties, the benefits far outweigh the cost. Well-developed trust will bring you many blessings, not the least of which is peace. I love me some peace. I have promised to keep you in perfect peace to the extent that you trust me. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. The world has it backwards, teaching that peace is the result of having enough money, possessions, insurance, and security systems. My peace, however, is such an all-encompassing gift that is independent of all circumstances. Though you lose everything else, if you gain my peace, you are rich indeed. Man, that's a word right there. Make you want to... Shout, yeah. <laughs> amen, amen. So um, the scripture, uh, first scripture is Philippians chapter four, verse six. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. That's verse six, but I'm gonna add verse seven. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's good news right there. And then we go to Isaiah 26, verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. When we trust God and we pray, to God, what his word says. And of course, his word is his will for us. And if we just stay in that word, read that word, meditate on that word, and then pray that word, it's not going to return back unto him void for sure. And when we pray, we pray thanking him. We, we pray thanking him because we trust that because his word is true and we're his children and we're saved, that he's going to do what he promised. So we believe it. And that's why you can pray thanking because you're trusting in him. And I just believe that peace is a gift that's priceless. When you have peace, even if you broke, you can be chilling and just going in there and eat you some crackers and drink you a glass of water because you got that peace that is all good. God promised to supply all our needs, every single one of them. And if you believe that, what do you have to be anxious about? That's your question for today. Do you have peace? Do you trust God? I pray you continue to have a blessed beyond measure day. I hope this word inspired and encouraged you. And remember that God is faithful. He is faithful and he will do everything he promised. And he pours his unfailing love upon us daily. And as a result, we can love and inspire each other through that love. Peace. Hope you make it a great day.